Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another turning tip. Uh, I think I might have shown parts of this before in a long tip video some time back, but not everybody's seen every video. And I was just getting ready to work on this very uh, large block of Bradford pear uh, about making, uh, looking at making an urn. And I've got to center it between, uh, put it between centers. You know, I could use these uh, wooden templates that I've used uh, and, and just put it on there and, and find the best way and, and that would work especially if I was cutting off corners which I'm not going to do but but I just want to point out again the handy thing that you can make out of a piece of acrylic uh, drill a hole you can actually put this on a, a large backing face plate and scribe these lines with a with a skew or a point tool while it's on the lathe I occasionally have to find the center of a small a block of wood for some some reason and I found I, I discovered the easiest way to do that is to make a small little template like this I had some scrap acrylic I drilled a 5 16 inch hole that I could put an awl through I measured out three inches three and a half inches and four inches and simply uh, mark mark this with a felt tip pen on the lathe mark the circle and then I came back later with a quarter inch uh, my pyramid tool and very it fairly uh, below a thousand speed just scribed a little bit of line and then went back with a magic marker or felt tip pen and to put a little uh, color in there and now I've got this very handy center finder all right let me show you the kind of backer plate uh, I was talking about I use this for removing the bottom of bowls and it's just a round plate with a threaded uh, wooden threaded glue block with some fun foam, 1 16th inch closed cell foam. So basically you could put this on this, bring it in, tighten it up, and then, then scribe it. Now, you could of course cut it around, but I just didn't see a need for that. Uh, and then fill them in, once you get them scratched, you can fill, it, fill them in with a felt tip pen or something and, and clean it off. But what I like about this, and I have a smaller uh, version for, sm for smaller blanks, is that you can better see through it and see the wood and, and give you a much better, better positioning. As always, I welcome your comments. Just leave them, uh, leave them below. So I hope this tip's good for you. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.